Knock at your door and I'm serving like pizza I got the ice, Italian pizza Bitch, I'm a family man like a pee. These niggas be short stops They're like G-10 Knock a nigga out like I'm Vegeta Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Brian I'm back with another YouTube video for y'all today, man And this time, man I'm doing another freaking high boy Reaction video, man I think it's high boy Yeah, high boy I haven't done one of these in a long time Long time over a year to be exact but hey man we're doing high boy b movie explained by an idiot now b movie was my movie i'm not gonna lie um i haven't seen it in a minute though but i do remember that the freaking the man b which is voiced by jerry seinfeld the freaking b was putting was risen up the freaking um risen up that lady a grown woman was getting risen up by a honeybee and she left her boyfriend for the bee. Like, it didn't make no sense. Like, what? She was crazy. Like, how are you going to... Like, he, how are you beating the cheeks up as a bee? How are you beat As a bee, how are you going to beat up human cheeks? I don't understand. But it, it happened on here. It, it happened somehow. But, hey, before we get to it, before we get to the video, make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe, hit that bell for post notifications. You know if I want to post something from my IG down below in the description. And, hey, man, let's hop to this video. Shall we? Put it in the basket. Let's get it. Welcome to B movie. That starts with a hater body shaming a B's outstanding physique. I'm Barry B. Benson getting ready for his B graduation where B's in this movie use honey for everything from food to lotion to lube and have human like infrastructure like buildings, roads, and cars. And he goes reckless striving to become his friend Adam for the graduation. He's like, I can't believe I'm finally graduating. And Barry's like, Yeah, I can't believe we have three days of grade school, three days of high school, three days of college, and one day I took off to oh, wow. hang around the hive. Hold on a sec. B's live anywhere between 30 to 60 days, which means, pessimistically speaking, over a third of this guy's life is already over. Just saying. They get their graduation yeah. and celebrate for like two seconds. And Makes they get briefed on joining the workforce or they will choose one boring ass job and honey making to do for the rest of their life which is something everyone is excited for except for Barry and sudden it instills a sense of existential dread and like a midlife crisis into him he talks to Adam about the tattoo orientation but he ain't worried citing that there's nothing wrong with working for the rest of your life and that they're bees they're the most perfectly functioning society on earth and Barry's like did you ever think that maybe things work a little too well around here that is one of the most entitled rich person living a cushy perfect life well. thing I've ever heard I get that he feels purposeless and just another cog in the machine but all I'm saying is there's less spoiled ways to say I don't want to live a boring life or whatever they see the pollen jobs coming back the hive, they're the ones that collect the nectar to make honey and spit pollen from flower to flower, so they're always covered in it. And also, they're like the fucking cool guys of the hive and shit, you know, everybody wants to be there. Like, Barry, he wishes to be like them, but you can't because you have to be bred to be a pollen joke. So, some of the pollen lands on the boys, and it's like a status symbol, right? Having pollen on you, so awesome chicks dig it. So, they use this pollen oh, to wow. with their cousins, so they understand that they're covered in flower cum right now, doesn't it? They pretend to be pollen what? Jokes, what did you say? Girls. Then, some of the real pollen jokes come over to mess with them, and they're buried to come along with them to mourn with so much when he considers it. And then, next day, him and Adam go to pick out a job, and the quarter there's like a couple newbies, huh? And I was like, you get it and wait for enough beast to die in the position he wants so he can get his preferred job a line couple newbies huh just so annoying because in a society where you work the same job till you fucking die who else will be coming here other than new recruits you fat fuck knuckle other than wow. that, the whole dying of bee workers and freeing up a position really fast is further proof that they know that their lives are short and that they die really fast in this movie it's canon it's a canon event okay just keep that in mind for later well, yes, very six away and yes, goes to take out the pawn jocks on their offer he signs a waiver that allows him to fight with them and i hope there's a sign x somewhere in barry benson that allows him to sign his name with only an x anyway they start their flappers and fly out the mm -hmm. hive through a tree into the sky and he finds out that he is in the city of piss new york city specifically <laughs> central park they fly through it and find some flowers land there and suck up the nectar with their nectar slippers pollinate some other flowers by hand and then get attracted to moving flowers aka tennis balls but they are too stupid to know what they are go down there like wow what are these are they gonna die so nice so fuzzy so grabby fuck you you can't tell me you have honey swimming pools cars know what hiking is and are aware of what frisbees are but you don't know what tennis balls are fuck you whatever barely lands on one gets stuck to it and lady picks it up is unaware of his existence on it and plays the point of tennis but that's her ain't it yeah and cool. <laughs> barry stays alive somehow through all of it then the boyfriend wishes her out the fucking park and the ball lands in the grill of a moving car barry gets sucked into the fucking engine into the combustion chamber and doesn't die somehow and then floats out of a fucking exhaust leak and flies through the ac vents into the cabin where the family inside freaks out and tries to kill him while that panics on the road driving 185 kilometers an hour. What the fuck? In New York City? What? He gonna die. Space, and he tries to make it back to his high, but it starts raining. And bees can't fly in rain. So he seeks shelter, finds this window with flowers in it. So he goes over there, crash lands through the window, and lo and behold, the apartment belongs to the couple that was playing tennis. Kenneth closes the window, trapping Barry inside, who is confused by the glass, and tries to get out. Like, what sorcery is this? Bro, no. Nah. No, you can't tell me you don't know what glass is. You have it in your cars. You store fucking honey in it. You have it in your test facilities. Same with the light he flies oh, into. That's true. Can hive Barry, bitch, Benson. <laughs> 
fire. Anyway, like I said, he flies at the ball, thinking as the sun hits it and drops into the guac. Almost gets eaten, but then Ken notices him and attempts to murder him with his fucking teams. But Vanessa stops him, saves Barry, puts him in a glass, and rips Ken's brochure to slide on it and carry him out, which he didn't need to do. The brochure is not big enough to fucking constitute that. You could have just followed it and not hurt Ken's feelings like that. Also, when she drops Barry into the flowers outside, she doesn't fully yeah. close the window, which is fucking retarded. Still, because what? not only does that allow Barry to come in very easily again, but also she's the one that asked Ken to fully close the window just a minute ago. This bitch is dumb as hell. So dumb, in fact, she literally helped Barry sue the human race later on this movie. Anyway, after the race. Right, no, no, no. This, this is very interesting. This is very interesting. A lot of things that you point out that I haven't, uh, haven't noticed before, even though I haven't seen the movie in a while, I haven't noticed that, yeah, they have glass all in their freaking beehive, and he doesn't know what glass is. Like, what? And freaking, um, uh, she tore up that man's brochure. <laughs> Why would you tear up your boyfriend's brochure? Just, just to slide it under and release the bee. You could have slid the whole brochure under the cup. Like, come on. She's so inconsiderate. Matter of fact, she's the villain. She's a real villain of this movie. She's so inconsiderate and such a freaking, I don't even know, such a dickhead to her boyfriend throughout the whole movie. What's his name? Kenneth? Yeah, Kenneth, Kenneth's the hero. Kenneth's the, he's not a hero. He didn't do nothing to roll, but he's just, he, he, this, this is a sad story, man. That's a sad life. Your girlfriend don't care about you, care more about a bee than you, and treat you like trash. Insane. Stop, Barry decides to go inside and thank her for saving his life, breaking the biggest bee rule ever, which is not to talk to humans. He keeps hyping himself up to talk to her in the same line, but he eventually talks to her in that she does not hear all the stuff before that. She only hears him initiate the conversation with her, which makes no sense, but regardless, he initiates the conversation. She freaks out a little bit, but takes the news of talking bees better than expected. Invites him to have a chat <laughs> over some coffee, and he's like, Okay, I'll have some coffee. Oh, so now you know what coffee, coffee is. is. Although the only thing he ever ate in his whole e life is fucking honey. I hate when the movies do this, dog, like when the animal doesn't know what shit like glass is, but they know what coffee is, which in situations like this, I'm 99% sure they never fucking heard of whatever they talk a bit on the rooftop he tells her about his life and gets lost in her dreamy eyes then they shake hands and he goes back to his hive tells adam about what he did that he's gonna delay picking a job again and that he talked to a human woman and that he might be falling in love with her adam disapproves very well around at home and does nothing his parents disapprove his lazy ass and not getting a job and shit he takes a dive in the honey swimming pool daydreams about vanessa almost drowns and gets out shouldn't the honey be more sticky and yeah. than that or do they water it down doesn't matter he goes to see vanessa again they talk some more while she goes grocery shopping and he sees that humans are selling their honey and he's disgusted by that that they're aware Working so hard on the honey and humans still from them and sell to each other and profit off their work and shit. There is no way in hell he's the first beauty to find this out, but whatever. He's losing his <laughs> shit. Vanessa's like, chill, home. He's like, no, bitch. And decides to get to the bottom of this and interrogates the guy who delivers the honey about who his supplier is. And the guy's pretty chill about the discovery of talking bees as well. Points him to the bee supply. Then he, yeah. Some, uh, way he catches up to it and ends up on his windshield with lots of other bugs. The driver operates the fucking wipers, launches him and Chris Rock's hero into the horn above, like on the roof of the car, that is somehow undisturbed by all the oncoming air along and to have a full on conversation on the road trip. I don't know if this is fucking possible. Maybe it's aerodynamically shaped to not let any air inside, although I fucking doubt it, but whatever. Chris gets on to an ambulance or blood donation truck. Barry continues on his journey and arrives at a bee farm, witnesses the atrocities that happened there, which to him must be like bee farm concentration camps, although I think I read somewhere when I was 10 that smoking them out doesn't really hurt the bees, but a long time ago and I don't fucking know what I'm talking about. So he watches the beekeeper smoke out a bunch of bees, then lands and is unaffected by the smoke. Right what? After they just got smoked out. Yes, and if they're okay or not, and why the hell they don't leave. They tell him that they're fine, that the effect doesn't last that long and they had to move here because their queen got moved here he's like that's not a queen that's a man and woman's clothes that's <laughs> yeah <a bad> queen. <laughs> careful now you can get in trouble for speaking obvious facts nowadays he then continues to see all the evil humans collecting the honey that the bees worked really hard for but look at this look at these things and shows it to his family who are initially in denial then says he's gonna hurt the humans where it really matters their money and he makes headlines in the bee world and human world for suing the entirety of the human race why is he not getting into any trouble for talking to humans i thought it was a big deal shouldn't he be in jail for that apparently no i don't think it's a good idea to court to support him and show that bees can talk revealing it to the whole world not just one or two people now and once again everybody's pretty fucking chill about this discovery what the hell also before that when Vanessa was helping him with legal proceedings she made him a coffee and put a sugar cube in that coffee and the sugar cube floats sugar cubes don't fall in coffee yes I thought that was worth including in this video fuck you I do what I want <laughs> anyway big bad fat ass food company lawyer comes to fight the case for the humans and why the f*** is the phone on this paper comic sans doesn't matter they start arguing their cases or whatever but it's more like they're roasting each other like they're just animals they can't really talk this is all fake hologram shit humans are fat witty bastards that take advantage of the little guy they're on stairs well, you're fucking, you're a zoo file. Whoa, come on, bro. It's 2007. Uncool. Objection, your honor. People can't keep using. Come on, bro. It's current year to justify dumbass behavior. Overruled. Abstained. Withheld. Lawyer words. I keep oh going on like that between them back and forth. The trial is big news everywhere. Everybody's covering it. Hold on. Jarvis, back up and freeze frame. Alexa, duplicate and fast forward. Right there. Okay, cool. What the freak? This man just. 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 Unplug both of them, then plug the router back in. Wait 30 seconds. Once the router is back on and connected to the internet, plug in the Echo device. You see what you did, hot boy? 
Hi boy, do you see what you just did? You just called Alexa's name and she just and you activated my Alexa. You freaking you you done messed up my video, hi boy. I want compensation. I want ad revenue. Cause Lord knows I ain't get paid for nothing I do on here. At least not yet. Shoot. Enhance Dora. He's right there. Swipers right eating there, you dumb, blind, deaf Mexican child whore. So Whoa! <laughs> forever. But if you look here, this newspaper is dated 2004, this 2005, and another one 2007. Which wait, means wait. it's been three whole years since the start of this lawsuit, and not Barry, not any of the other bees are f***ing dead. Are you having a f***ing... <laughs> we have the 30, 60 so days, right? Big from the trial or they're home from the trial that night, I don't fucking know. Ken notices that a fucking bee is being Mr. Theo Girls and his girlfriend. He tries to kill Barry in the bathroom by smacking him, letting him on fire, trying him in water and flushing him down the shitter. Vanessa stops any other attempts on Mary's life and breaks up with Ken. Then the trial resumes with human lore questions. He's just a bee. Mary's parents are his parents at all if the queen gives birth to all of them and that all of them are doing incest. I have 500 similar questions well, about true. this topic, but I'm going to keep that gun holster this time. He's doing all that in hopes to make at least one be angry enough to sting his fat, dumb truck ass. Adam falls for that and stings him. Lawyer dude overplays the pain he's in to show how evil the bees are. Adam doesn't die from this and gets transferred to a human hospital for some reason where they keep him alive and put a fucking <laughs> toy in his ass as a fat bee stinger now. And also, bees can survive stinging but they made it very clear that they're not the type that does pretty sure they're the type that has their organs fall out their asshole once they sting someone with a very low survival rate so him being alive here is massive bullshit but whatever yeah. he describes the feeling of sting to be similar to the feeling of nothing and butthead gets an idea on how to win the case from a bunch of smokers it goes into court with the fucking smoke gun they use on the bees shows it to the court he's like why the hell are you being hitler to bees didn't really say that he actually played the race card which is still kind of funny they win the yeah, case very funny. Get the no more bee honey concentration camps and all the honey goes back to the bees they killed china leader Pooh bear or like stop. what the Freak? Bears have become racist to bears. Some Who is they real? Know their products and so on and so forth. And now that all the honey is going back to the bees, they have more honey than they can ever use in their life and a massive surplus of it. So they don't need to make any more and shut down all the production of the honey and take a massive extended vacation for forever. Which means that all the flowers and plants are wilting and dying because the bees are not pollinating anything and that includes edible shit like fruits and vegetables. Meaning all produce is fucked but and they can't make more of it. The okay, bees are villains. Like that won't eat, not just humans, the whole world is fucked. But that shows Barry the ripple effect of what bees not working had on the world. And he's like, shit, my bad. Then she goes off to Pasadena yeah. to see the last ever flower parade or competition or whatever. They moved it up to this weekend since they're all dying so fast and this will probably be the last flower parade ever. So she's going to see it over there because she loves flowers. She's a florist by the way. She takes a cab to go to the airport and he gets another idea while she leaves and flies over to her cab to tell her about this idea and struggles to keep up while it fucking moves and he asks her to ask the driver to slow down he gets in there and slams in there. I don't know why he didn't just move to the right while he was sleeping. already keeping up with it. You f***ing dumbass. Just move to the right and you'll be inside you idiot. Whatever. The plan is to steal some of the flowers from the flower parade. Fly him back to New York City. He tells the bees to go work and again they take all the pollen from those flowers of pollen in Central Park and fix the world. Great plan, buddy, but wouldn't it be easier, smarter, and better overall to convince bees in Pasadena to start from there? You could still steal some flowers and bring back to New York if you want, but I'm just saying, that would be way better, way more effective, and less risky because he calculates that they have just enough pollen to save the world on flight back, which they wouldn't have to fucking calculate if they just started in Pasadena, but whatever. He doesn't do that. Instead, they fly over, sneak into the parade place, steal one of the floats, and take it over to the airport, and shove the flowers into a plane, and head back to New York. And on the plane, they do the stupid bullshit calculation for having enough pollen to save the world. There's actually a load of bullshit that happened in this past sequence from them stealing the f***ing flowers and flying them out to New York, but I'm gonna ignore it all because I can't be bothered to comment on it. So they're on the plane back to New York, right? And the pilot says they're gonna be delayed for a couple hours because of bad weather, but the flowers won't last that long. So Barry sneaks into the cockpit, knocks out the pilots, and takes control of the plane. Oh yeah, they gotta fly the plane, right? So Barry Brad. sneaks into the cockpit to talk to the pilots about that, but the main pilot freaks out from B in the cockpit and, and knocks himself out, right? And doing so smacks the co-pilot unconscious. The co-pilot fucking smacks the big red button that says lifeboat, yeah. which inflates the lifeboat <laughs> and knocks the main pilot out. Barry's gonna pick her right now and makes an announcement for Vanessa to come up to the cockpit. He explains to her what happened. She gets into contact with air traffic control. He asks if there's anybody with flight experience on the fucking plane, and they say that Barry's on there. They start heading into really bad weather, like a storm cloud. Lightning strikes them, and turns off autopilot. At this point, the B and human news have gotten wind of this happening and. Uh, uh, heard a little speech that Barry made about how awesome bees are and that they should get back to work and all the bees in his hive and I'm guessing all the other hives in Central Park flew out to that fucking plane because that's the only way this next part is even remotely possible. They fly out to the plane and go underneath it, take control of it instead of autopilot and help it from being crushing into the ground. They approach the airport, cut the engine, so the be powered to land movie, on a so. pulsating Whatever. black and yellow flower that all the other bees that are not lifting the plane made for them to a land great on. Movie they circle that. a bit like a f***ing bee and then land. I guess with enough bees you can lift the whole planet but what makes this impossible is that this plane is flying at 320-ish knots which is over 600 kilometers an hour and bees can only fly at a max speed of 40 kilometers an hour also i'm not a pilot or anything but i'm pretty sure there's no big red button in the fucking cockpit that is labeled life raft like that also i'm pretty <laughs> sure you switch off the engines from the switch panel up ahead and i don't know why the f air traffic control didn't ask for anybody
somebody else other than a fucking bee that is on board that has flight experience and gave up immediately at Barry. Also, when all the other bees tell Barry to put it down on the blacktop, he says he can't see the runway, although he can clearly fucking see it. Also, I'm pretty sure this Bruh. is not an accurate representation of what a plane radar and an air traffic control tower shows. Also, Barry keeps telling at Vanessa to land the plane properly, although she is no longer in any fucking control at all, and he knows that full well because he asked her to cut the engine and go on bee power. Fucking moron. I know what we're thinking of fucking kids movie where bees suit the human race, but mm -hmm. I can't fucking help it, okay? <laughs> Alexander's land, drop out the flowers, Barry makes another speech about how awesome bees are and how they should get back to work, and earns himself a position as a pollen jock. The bees pick up pollen from the flowers, pollen in Central Park. It all gets fixed instantly, which I'm pretty sure is not how fast that works. Barry revives all Vanessa's flowers in her shop with his ray gun. All the bees get back to work. The humans return to profiting off of their fucking free labor, I guess. Barry opens a part-time law firm in Vanessa's shop to help other animals to the human race. Didn't that fucker learn anything from his... He didn't learn anything. He a fucking idiot. Plus, how the fuck is he still alive? Doesn't matter. Ken also mm -hmm. cries because he's continually getting cupped by a fucking insect. This movie gets five Cinnabons out of 5,872,000 donuts. That's a terrible rating. That's a terrible rating. A very low rating, hi boy. What are you smoking? Oh, well, obviously, you're smoking that, that za because you're high. You're high. You're high, boy. I get it. You're high, boy. I, 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 yeah, I see. You're high. You're very high. But, yeah, man. This movie's really good. This movie's great. Dare I say. But, um, yeah. But, nah. It's a, we point out a lot of stuff that I did not realize off of watching this movie several years ago. Like, man. This man, <laughs> bro, the, the, the bees live for 30 to 60 days. And the movie went on for like three years, bro. What? Nah, there's so many things I could go on about. But hey, man, I don't get paid enough to do that. So make sure y'all like, comment, subscribe. <sighs> Ding! Hit that bell for post notification. Get notified when I post something. Follow me on IG down below in the description. And hey, man. Oh, yeah, support High Boy as well. Even though he freaking ruined my video by calling out my, uh, my Alexa. But, um,. Yeah, I am. <laughs>